it's pretty close between him and and uh, Musk right now, right? Yeah, it is. It is, and you know, Elon keeps blowing up spaceships. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the stock might go down. SpaceX rocket exploded yesterday uh, on its way back down to Earth. They just can't do it. They can't seem to. I mean, they have done it, but I think they've they've only done it three times successfully, where they launched it and it goes into space or or uh, uh, almost to right. space, and then they bring it back down and land it upright again yeah. on land yeah. three times. And then the last two have both blown up on the yeah. pa- on the and, launch you know, pad. The time before was Landing we pad. got everything we needed, and that's fine. This is a, <laughs> We got the data. Back to the, we're fine. We're fine. But mm-hmm. I don't, we didn't I don't hear think they, that yesterday. Yeah, right. I don't think they were planning on that yesterday. Yeah, and you know we have the footage of it, and it's just – it's a, it's incredible because it took off. I mean, it took off. The the takeoff was perfect. It flew, I think, for six or seven minutes, something like that, and then. Uh, and that was the end of it. That was the, the when it and landed. The, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not. There, there's. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark right there. <laughs> <laughs> there's Jeez. other footage showing it come down, mm. and it's looking like it's you know, the main when it the full footage. It's looking like it's gonna do okay. Really? And then it gets to that point, you know, obviously everything looked fine until it crashed. <laughs> uh, it just seemed like Weird. then it just lo- it just lost it and obviously, you know, crashed and blew up. And it's really uh, maybe I'm that's sure why that NASA got- lands in the water all the time. It is possible that that's what they were thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it might be you know, better. This is really hard to land it upright. <laughs> I uh, can't quite get it down. <laughs> what you need is that saucer shaped thing the ufo kind of thing those you can land on the ground those can land that's easy thank you now do these rockets do a spaceship we've got help doesn't the space federation help us out a little bit come on (laughs) i mean do you not have are you not in communication with them right in that tunnel or the cave in mars elon's gotta be right gotta be you would think so right he's on the inside now sure he got some technology to build tesla from them you know he did uh, right. So contact him again and say, look, how do we do this? Guys, <laughs> guys, you're letting me down. I need some, I need some like saucer information. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what they need. They, they need the saucer like thing. Cause yeah. the rocket, it, it, there's just too much room for error there. Uh, if, or actually there's no room for error. Cause if you're right. just a, an inch off, that thing's going to fall and explode. Yeah. So not pretty nah it's real no sad. i know it's real and sad. C- because their plan is still to go to the moon by 2022 and mars by 2024 yeah how are you going to make that happen when you've still got rockets exploding like this on uh on the landing pad you better get that worked out i don't know i'm not if it's me i'm not putting men in that thing uh until they work it out oh the takeoff's fine uh, yeah takeoff's fly fine. into space fine just stay there Stay in space. <laughs> We're going to land on the moon now. <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> I okay. guess you could go back to a, a a water landing if you if you can't uh, get this thing figured out. But as Musk said, the only way that's viable for space travel like this, the only way it's going to be affordable is if we can reuse the rockets. Right. And the only way you can reuse them is if you can bring them back and land them. Right. So they need to get that worked out. <laughs> do need to get that work get out. it i mean we're out. already we're charging people to go to the iss now right i mean we've got people spending yeah. 50 million 50 million dollars, dollars 55 to million go to the iss to go to the iss we got uh, and that's that's um <clears throat> that's through another program and then the nasa spacex program has got uh you know looking to take regular people up including Tom Cruise and making the movie at the ISS, mm-hmm. right? I don't know. I mean, Tom might be able to afford fifty million. Maybe it's, pos- it's possible Tom could afford that, but why when he can make the movie and let the production companies pay for it? Mm-hmm. And so, mm-hmm. I mean, it's still happening. We still yeah. the space travel is still happening. It is. And so it's kind of exciting. It's still exciting. I mean, I'm I'm be kind of cool. Yeah, I, I mean, I root for the space program. I want it to happen. I think it's really cool. I think it is valuable to Earthlings, even though a lot of Earthlings don't. Why don't you spend that money here on Earth? <laughs> you got plenty of problems to work out here on Earth. What are you doing going into space? What good is that? Uh, 
<laughs> and then you look Thanks back. You look back on all the technology we have because of our effort to go to space, and you realize. I mean, our society is completely different. We don't have GPS or cell phones if we hadn't gone to the moon. Right. Well, I mean, Elon has taken up you know eight billion satellites circling the globe. Yeah. Um, you know, perhaps we need to. I, I think that maybe I need to come up with uh, you know a global satellite trash company. He and Bezos are in a real battle over that. Over the, oh, yeah, the, the control of the satellite yeah. industry right now, because there's a lot of money in that. Sure is. If you're not, ta- if Big you're, time. I mean, who's going to take? Who's going to take it up there? There's like two companies that can do it. Yeah, it's Elon and it's uh, Bezos. And Elon just and NASA. launched a bunch. I mean, hundreds. Uh, yeah, they, that one. The one rocket Many. ship had all the. Uh, I mean, it showed the different. They had to be timed exactly <laughs> the mm-hmm. release to take off and leave. And be uh, disembarked from the rocket. Uh, all these that was incredible to watch. But that's uh, a lot of money. Those companies pay yeah, a, a lot. lot of money. A lot of money. Well, again, because, you know, uh, there's nobody else that can do it. It's like when, uh, when the military was looking for somebody to service the soldiers that were in Iraq and Afghanistan. And there was a big outcry. Yeah. They got a, Halliburton got a no no bid contract. They got a no bid contract. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? They're the only ones that can do it. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I know. There's, there's like Halliburton and I think uh, one other that's even possible. Could be it. close, right. And it was just Halliburton that right. was... Yeah, the the guy delivering uh, lunch sandwiches to the construction workers at the at building four, right, uh, isn't delivering he's, he's not to doing Iraq. That. No, no, he's not. He's no. not feeding thirty thousand soldiers at Iraq. No, he is not. <laughs> I mean, maybe he could. Maybe. I mean, you know, maybe someday down the road, sure. but not now. The right. soldiers are kind of hungry now. Yeah. So we need somebody who can yeah. kind of do it. I don't know now.